in the Quran, uh, in Surah Luqman, Allah mentioned, Inna shirk ala zulman azim. Shirk is the biggest zulm. And if we see the end of time hadith, uh, there is mentioned that near the end of time, uh, near the Akru Zaman, uh, the world uh, with uh, filled with zulm. And we think that this zulm is uh, what Israel doing with Palestine. This is zulm. No, uh, actually the zulm means is uh, shirk and its form. The world will fill with the zulm means the world will fill with the shirk and its form. We can see in every city and every uh, almost uh, uh, places these statues, these pictures we can see everywhere. So this world is filled of uh, shirk and its form. And uh, now I want to share a hadith uh, here. Uh, there is a hadith, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi sitting in his room, uh, in his home. And uh, Jibra'il Alaihi Salaam was uh, come and uh, he was not entering to his uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam home. Then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, why you are not entering to my home? Then Jibra'il Alaihi Salaam replied, there is a picture uh, in your home, there is a carton in your home and there is a images, pictures on it. Either you have to cut his head or runes in your foot, then I will come and we Malaika, we angels, don't come, uh, go, don't go there where there is a picture. So it's uh, clearly uh, uh, mentioned in the Hadith and uh, it uh, clearly shows that uh, Allah forbid his angels don't go where there is a picture. So what happened? Uh, what was happened if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refused to remove these uh, images? Uh, Jibreel Alaihi Wasallam will not enter to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam home. So uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say whatever Jibreel Alaihi Wasallam saying it's actually a order of Allah. Uh, he is uh, commanded by the Allah. So he re immediately removed this picture from his home and then Jibreel alayhi salam uh, come to his home. Imagine he is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, the last and the most beloved Prophet of Allah. If Jibreel alayhi salam is not entering to his home because of the pictures, then we are ordinary Muslims. Uh, if we have a pictures in our home, then how uh, uh, the angel of the mercy of Allah will enter to our home? So by uh, these type of shirk and its form, our connection is disconnected with Allah. Uh, Allah is, uh, knows everything, of course. He is the Lord of the all world. But He has made some rules. He has made some system. And Allah uh, never go against His rules. So he make uh, angels uh, to connection between uh, him and uh, his servant uh, through the, the angels. So when angels uh, can't come to our home due to pictures and uh, statues, then it means our connection is broken with Allah. Our connection is disconnected. The same like uh, we have uh, lights in this room. Uh, what if we cut the cables? And uh, what if the wire is broken, then this, uh, this light uh, turn off. We can't do any work. We can't do this post podcast. So uh, we, whatever we change the lights, we uh, uh, replace them, imported light, whatever we do, they will not turn on until we fix the cable. When we fix the cable, then the cable, uh, the, then the lights will turn on. So same like, uh, uh, same as uh, our connection is disconnected with Allah <clears throat> due to these images and statues. And uh, Allah uh, mentioned in the Quran uh, on Laylatul Qadr, Allah come to uh, the earth with Malaika, with angels. And Allah asks angels, go and see what my servant is doing. And uh, when uh, the angels of the mercy of Allah try to come to our home, uh, they will see, oh, there is a pictures in our home. There is a statues in our home. 
uh, and uh, Allah forbid them uh, to enter this place, then they can't uh, enter to our home. They can't even come to know what we are doing on Laylatul Qadr, what we are doing in normal days. We are praying, we are making dua, what we, what we are doing, they can't come to know. And they re will return to Allah and they will say, Oh Lord, we are trying to enter their home. They have a statue, they have a picture in their home and you have forbid us uh, not to enter in the home where there is a picture or statues. So maybe they can't even enter to our cities. So our connection is disconnected. So Allah will say to uh, angels, okay, uh, leave them in their condition. If they don't want to change their condition, leave them alone. So this is how we Muslims going down in uh, day by day. We are more than 1.5 billion in the uh, population. But we can't even make uh, Israel agree on ceasefire. We are, we have uh, money, we have an uh, army, but what is the reason we can't help uh, other Muslims? We can't help Palestine, we can't help for Kashmir, we can't help any Muslim in the world. Why? Because Allah is not helping us, because our plan is not successful, because our connection is disconnected with Allah. So we must have to restore connection uh, with Allah. How we can restore connection? By, remo by removing pictures and statues from our home, from our cities, from our restaurant. Then our connection will restore with Allah. Then Allah will say, okay, uh, and to angels, go and see what my servants is doing, what Muslims is doing. Then they will come to our home and then they can see our situation. Why we are going hardship, we are going through hardship and uh, we are making dua for Allah, come and help us, we are in trouble. Then angel will go to Allah and they will say, uh, oh, oh, oh Lord, uh, uh, your servant, your Muslims is in a uh, bad uh, situation, they are going through hardship. Uh, and they are praying, they are crying, they are making dua for Allah, they are asking help from Allah, from you. So then Allah will say, okay, now I will go and help them. When we will remove shirk and its form, then Allah will help us. Then we Muslim will unite again. Then uh, Islam will rise again. Then we, we Muslim will get uh, their low status back. And then Israel will uh, take us, uh, then Kufar will take us seriously. Imagine um, uh, we can uh, see the uh, Hazrat Umar Razi Ta'ala Anho, the second Khalifa. He went uh, to Palestine alone, the Baitul, Baitul Maqdas alone, uh, with only uh, one of his servants. And uh, Jews that time uh, give him a keys without any asking questions. Why? Because Allah was helping him. Because Muslims were in the power. And Jews know if we uh, say no to him, then he will come with his uh, unbeatenable uh, army and they will kill us. So, uh, uh, they, uh, so Jews give him a keys and without any uh, asking any question because uh, that time Muslim uh, avoid shirk and its form and Allah was uh, happy with them and Allah was help, uh, helping them. But today we are uh, more than 1.5 billion but we can't do anything for our uh, uh, Muslim brothers and sisters. So this is uh, how uh, Muslim will rise again. Uh, when they remove shirk and its form, then Allah will start to help us. Then we Muslims start to rise again and inshallah, we will get our low status back and inshallah, we will get unite again, inshallah.